Welcome to Chris Parkin Shooting Sports. This is the Caldwell Clay Launcher. Now this product is £9.99. pence. I don't often state prices, but I will on this. Because 20 years ago, I went on a hunting trip in America and I bought something similar to this in a Walmart along with a box of clay pigeons. And frankly, it's the most fun I think I've ever had for the lowest cost shooting ever because a group of four of us used one of these in some farmers fields in the middle of nowhere in the US and they were just just fantastic fun because this allows you basically just to clip a standard clay pigeon in here and you can then throw it as your heart is content to make sure you as the thrower have as much fun trying to outfox the shooter as the shooter does trying to hit the clays. Very simple setup all you have to do is just take it out of the packaging and when you have your box of standard clay pigeons, you just put them in like that and you just use it somewhat like a tennis racket. The clay launcher works with clays from 108 to 110 millimeters. It does actually say some clays are more fragile than others. And if you do find your clays are too fragile, it recommends actually to just stretch the jaws a little bit and that will make it easier to put the clays in without damaging them. Now, of course, that will be right-handed use. This is actually totally ambidextrous. So if we just take that clay out, if you flip it over the other way, that is the left-handed direction. Of course, it's the same clay, just the opposite direction of installation and throwing. Once you've clicked clay pigeon in place, all you've got to do is throwing it. And throwing it, you've got to get a little bit of a knack for doing it, but it's actually very, very fun. And just the variety makes it harder for the shooter because they can't predict it every time. This is all injection moulded. The polymers are very tough and durable. You know, you can see where I've dropped it on the floor, I put it down with the clays, and it's got mud on it, it doesn't matter. These things seem to last forever, and they stand up to a lot of abuse. And of course, the clays themselves are quite sharp and abrasive. So when you're putting them in and out, it's nice that the material doesn't seem to scratch up too badly, and they certainly never seem to wear out in my experience. When you put the clays in, put them in the bottom and then touch them into the top here and then sort of roll them in position. That gives you the most consistency. You only chip that one, Dave. Four. There's definitely a knack to a flick of the wrist on these because if you just go with strength and speed alone, it doesn't work. You need to get that flick in your wrist to make sure it releases out the front. You can see here, there are ribs actually on the insides of it, which makes sure that as it does relief, the clay itself spins, which keeps it very stable. A bit like a gyroscope. That one's a real floater, that one. Ready? Yep. Bit of a floater, that one. Let's see if we can go for an overhead one. You ready? That's a nice looper, that one. Ready? Four. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching that as much as we've enjoyed filming it. Um, it's quite a fun thing to use. There's as much fun throwing the clays as there is shooting them, to be honest, because when it is working and you are consistent, you can really try and outfox the shooter. And because you're not restricted to a trap anywhere, you can put a pile of clays in one pocket and you can go out around the shooter from any direction to launch clays into a safe direction for him to shoot. So you can totally outfox the shooter. And when you get a couple of your mates with them as well, that is really quite good fun. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, Comment, click the notification bell, shoot the clay or better still throw the clay and uh, keep track of my regular uploads. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.